Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. It's going to be my daily forecast for the first day, uh, June 3rd, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and develop this year in news videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we did rally up towards uh, resistant at the 20 exponential and then just absolutely got hammered. So last time that happened right here, fell, fell, and then continued. So 50, 20 exponential or has offered a massive resistance uh, recently. We can see it here, we can see it here, it's here, here, and also up here and so on. So every time we get to that point, it basically breaks down. And that kind of says that we will probably continue this downward trend that we have been on. And that will, of course, be very positive for gold, positive for oil, positive for indices, stocks, so on. So cheaper dollar, well, other things become uh, more expensive. So if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is flat at this point. Stochastic is bull, uh, bearish. The RSI, uh, the CCI is becoming uh, bullish and the RSI is technically flat. So they appear all over the place. So let's look at oil. So oil has uh, been moving uh, quite far at this point. So reopening is uh, what probably is driving this market. So we did broke and break above these previous highs here, and we will most likely go to 70 within, uh, well, the next few days or probably the next few weeks. If we were to break down from here, which uh, probably shouldn't happen uh, anytime soon, there's a lot of room to the upside. We're still at the top of the bullish brand. We could break, and uh, that will probably find massive support down here at the uh, 65, 65, or the 50 moving average at the 63. So. So that is probably as far as this market will go. Otherwise, the target looks like it's going to be 70, then 72, 75 in the, in the long run. So if you look at technical indicators, they are all favoring the upside at this point. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas did rally yesterday. And as you can see, we did, we did go back towards the previous highs here and then got rejected. At the moment, it looks like we are going to pull back it will probably drop back towards uh, 2.9, which is was the bottom around this area here the last time we fell. So if you look at technical English, they are either flat or turning around at this current stage. So this is an area of massive resistance, and we need to get through this area here in order to go to the uh, very highs of 3.37. So let's look at copper. So copper did fall towards the 20 exponential, and the question is whether or not this is going to hold. Um, if you look at technical indicators, they are all favoring the downside. So a drop below the 20 exponential could see this drop towards the bottom of the bullish band, which is at 4.47, which is also where, where we rallied last time. If this breaks, then we have the 50 moving average down here at 4.3. So 50 moving average has been massive support in the past. We can see it here, here, here and all the way back here. So it has been bouncing off the 50 uh, every single time we have had this massive rally. So it looks very similar to this rally here where we go back towards the 50 moving average and before continuing higher. So let's look at gold. So here. Yes, so gold continued to rally today. We are just sticking around here at the 1900. Um, if you look at RSI, significantly overbought. And therefore, I do still expect a pullback before we go higher. If we were to rally here all the way to the top of the bullish band, which is at roughly 1930, only means that we'll have a bigger drop uh, coming. So better to have it before and then have more time, more room to the upside. Technically, the they are also looking, they're still bullish, but they are still looking like they are turning around here and heading back towards the downside. So 20 exponential should be uh, massive support at 1867. So let's look at silver. So silver has rallied yet again from the middle of the bullish band. It is just bouncing off the middle of the bullish band every single time. And at the point, it looks like we're going back towards the end 20. 8.33. Uh, Technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. They are 
are, or they are technically very flat, to be very honest. MACD is flat, stochastic is bullish, CCI is still bullish, and RSI is flat. So break below the 20 exponential could open the door to the 50, down here at $26. Uh, dollars. Uh, but long-term target here will most likely be $30 if we manage to just continue the way that it has been moving to the upside. So let's look at Platinum. So Platinum has tried to rally up towards the 20 exponential. It has uh, been rejected several times here, 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 and also yet again here. Technical indicators, we can see that they are not favoring the upside at this point. The MACD is uh, bearish, the stochastic is bullish, the CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat. So if we break below these uh, candlesticks here of 11.59, then we can drop towards 1100 and probably the 200 moving average. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium has tried to rally above the uh, middle of the bullish band and got uh, well we fell towards the 20 exponential sorry and then rallied we're still in the reds but uh, at this current stage it looks like we are ready to go higher this 20 exponential held quite significantly and technical indicators otherwise are uh, are turning around so if we may get a green candlestick above here then we could go and head towards 19 29 uh, 40 or even to uh, 3,000. Break below here, the 50, and the bottom of market here, 27.31. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium has turned around. Uh, we are finding support at the 20 exponential, down here at the 24, 26. Technical indicators are all turning around. MACD is bearish, stochastic is flat, CCI is bearish, and RSI is bearish as well. So if we break below the 20 exponential, we can head back towards the 50 moving average at 23.58. So let's look at the nickel. So nickel has also uh, run into resistance up here at give or take uh, 18,362. And it looks like we are going to roll over here and head back to head back south towards the 50 or the 20 exponential moving average. Technical indicators are still bullish, most of them, but they are turning around. So this area here is an area of massive resistance that we have to break through in order to go to 19,000. So let's look at sugar. So we're very much back and forwards. We ended up uh, roughly at where we started. So at this current stage, we're trying to get 0 0.1766. Uh, uh, technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. The MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, CCI is still in bullish territory, but it's turning around, and RSI is flat. Break below the 20 exponential opens the door to 16.54, uh, and break above here, well, then we are going to probably target these previous highs here at 18.81. So let's look at cotton. So cotton has tried to rally towards the middle of the bullish band and got rejected. So at this point, that is not a very good sign. Uh, technical indicators, they are, well, they are fairly mixed. MACD is crossing the signal line, but it's still bearish. The stochastic is bullish. The RS, uh, CCI is flat and the RSI is flat. So if we break below here, then we could drop all the way down to the bottom of the bullish band and probably to the 200 moving average. So let's look at Kakoa. So Kakoa, uh, well, did fall uh, towards 24, um, 00, and then rallied towards a 50 moving average and a 20 exponential moving average. Found resistance here at 20 exponential. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, the RSI C and stochastic is flat, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this point. Rollover from here could head back towards the bottom at the 23.15, break above the middle of the bullish band, but we have the 200 moving average right here at 24.93. So let's look at wheat. Yes, so wheat ran into resistance at the middle of the bullish band right yet again. So we did do the run the resistance there yesterday and yet again today and now ended up in red. Not a very good signal. Uh, if we break below here and the 50 moving average, then we could head back towards the very lows here of 600 and 38 and the 200 moving average at roughly uh, 625. Technical indicators, they are, well, 
fairly mixed. MACD is bearish. Stochastic is bullish. CCI is flat. And RSI is bearish at this current stage. So, hope you find this helpful. You're willing to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. And good luck and thank you very much.